where she's at near my hand. What is up guys, Andy Gabs back for another vlog. And I'm not gonna lie, this isn't really gonna be a vlog type of video. Um, it's probably eight something, 8.30 at night. I am at my buddy's house and he has a lot of really, really cool reptiles. Scrub pythons, carpet pythons, rough scale pythons. So basically this whole video is gonna be me showing off his collection. I've never even seen a scrub python in person, so it's gonna be interesting. All right, so to start out the tour of his reptile room, I'm gonna have my buddy Brandon from Morelia House. He's gonna explain two snakes right now, and then we're gonna move on to some other stuff, but he's gonna start out the video. How's it going, guys? So. Uh, I've kept jungle carpets for a very long time, and I absolutely love jungles. It's one of my favorite different types of carpet pythons, and I actually have two very distinctly different jungle carpets here today. So here we have what you would uh, typically think of a jungle carpet. Jungle carpets are known to have that black and yellow or black and gold, really vibrant colors and light. And when you think jungle carpet, immediately the first thing that should pop in your mind is boom, black and yellow. But this here is a gelatin locality uh, jungle carpet. And you'll see not all jungle carpets are black and yellow. So this gelatin animal is actually from the northern range. And you'll see that there is no yellow on her at all. Much more of a, like a silvery olive black tones, but, but no yellow. So just because something's a jungle carpet doesn't mean that, that it's black and yellow. They're an extremely diverse uh, species of snake. And they're a lot of fun to have in your collection. So these are a couple of the jungles. So next up, we've got a snake that I have also never dealt with. This is a baby rough scale python. And uh, having never held them before, I never really knew how they got the name. This is the only python species that has keeled scales, meaning that they go from back to front, vice front to back. Um, kind of feels like a colubrid. These guys are from Northwestern Australia and Brandon was telling me that there were five snakes that were wild caught that produced every single rough scale python that is in captivity right now. And now there's actually more rough scales in captivity than there is in the wild because they're from such a teeny tiny little locality in Northwestern Australia. So guys, we are moving into the scrub pythons now. We're about to take out his young adult katana. She's about seven and a half to eight feet and um, scrub pythons, I guess, something I've heard about them is they're kind of known to have a bit of a, not angry disposition, I guess, but we'll just call them not friendly. Would, would you consider that true, Brandon? It depends. Uh, definitely each individual is its own snake. I have scrubs that I consider to be, you know, very handleable, and there's others that are going to be a little bit more defensive. This one's a little somewhere in the middle of, of that, so uh, some days she has better days than others. In general, you really don't want to be messed with all that much. So I am recording this video right now. I'm trying to stay... Nice. Now, one thing about scrub pythons is while they, they do tend to be a little bit bitey, uh, they also will have a, a, a musk or bowel movement in order to dissuade their predators. So if they're not going to bite you, there's a good chance they're going to pee on you. Uh, just because that's their thing. It's actually a defense mechanism, as you can see here on my floor. Yep, that was a good one. I think she got my foot a little bit. But yeah, she is uh, definitely beautiful. They are a very intelligent snake. Uh, highly arboreal. They spend a lot of time climbing. They're very, very good in the trees. Very good at maneuvering. I'm going to try to get a quick close-up of her actual scales and her look so you can see what she looks like. But I'm going to do it very carefully. So bear with me. Definitely an absolutely beautiful snake. Sorry for the video being kind of wavy, guys. I'm trying to see what I'm recording and watch her head at the same time, which is proving to be relatively difficult. All right, guys, so that was definitely badass. Definitely a cool snake. I think we're gonna move on to another big scrub right now and maybe a few more bigger ones before we show you guys the babies that Brandon produced. This is gonna be Lazarus. 
who is my male strong locality barnet. Scrub pythons are from Australia, but they're also from uh, Papua, uh, Western Papua, New Guinea. Uh, and, and some some of the islands uh, there around that area. So uh, these are from the northwestern part of Papua, uh, which is the strong area. Very 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 cool species. Um, again, hopefully I'll be able to breed them this year. This is going to be my boy. And these actually have almost a hundred percent humidity year round. Uh, they have virtually no winter. It's almost the same same temperature all year round. Uh, during the day, it gets between 85 to 90 degrees all year. Uh, and then at night, it gets down to about 75 all year. And there's only about a one to two degree difference um, just between summer and winter. So almost nothing at all. He's got my glove. <laughs> Doesn't want to let it go. Now, Lazarus uh, is a much more trusting scrub than Katana, my female. Uh, he's a good snake. I'm not going to say that he won't bite you, because he certainly can and will, but he's going to be much less willing to bite. So, uh, he's just, just temperamentally, uh, he's much more laid back. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the camera, and we're going to let Andy try this out. Don't wave your hands around too much. And you're good. There we go. Not all too First bad. First time holding a barnack. Way, I don't know, the way they move almost reminds me of a colubrid. Not crazy fast, but they still like to move around. Definitely He's cool though. And you can feel like, I don't know, how big, how big is this guy, would you say? He's about eight feet. Eight feet? Maybe a little larger. You can definitely feel, but it's kind of, it's different because they're not super thick bodied, like some of the bigger retakes that I've held. And I feel like he would be able to move way faster than some of the big retakes I've held. Sorry, I know I'm not looking at the camera, but again, first time dealing with this guy and this species of snake in general. So I'm trying to kind of keep my eye on him. I love the scale colors too. Like how it almost fades, you know what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's not like many snakes that I've ever seen. And the iridescence, you're right. Now that I'm looking at it from this angle, is wild. He's got your keys, man. I think this guy is awesome, and I also think that I, uh, I'm gonna have to get one from Moralia House once I move and can have reptiles again. So, pro tip and rookie mistake that I usually do not make, Never have anything dangly when you're dealing with uh, bigger snakes, or really any snake in general, because now I'm gonna have to spend five minutes uh, solving this puzzle. So we're about to take out Gypsy, who is another big python, and um, I've heard she is mean. Not just kinda mean like the scrubs, she's mean mean. Um, and Brandon says that he's gonna take her out, I'm gonna make sure to stand on the complete opposite side of the room, and there's gonna be no funny, here you go Andy, hold the big mean snake. We're, we're gonna go ahead and work with Gypsy here real quick. Now she is a wild caught scrub python, as each of mine are. I do have captive bred ones that I produced this year, and this is actually the mother of my captive bred babies. Uh, so she is, uh, Everything that a scrub python as far as the attitude is concerned with their uh, reputation. It's not so much that she's a mean snake as much as she's just super defensive. Uh, I, she doesn't want to be messed with. She just wants to be left alone. Uh, but we're going to mess with her anyway for the sake of science. Do it for science. Wow. So there you guys go. How was that for a strike? Come on. Come on. Look, I'm not trying to make like sensational, crazy, wild video here, but this is just who she is as a snake. And this is something that when you're talking about keeping scrub pythons, you have to be prepared for because they can be like this. And every time the snake takes a poop, 
every time I change her water, every time I need to take her out and clean her for any reason, which is at least a once a week basis, once every other week basis, this is something that I have to go through. Uh, so this isn't a species to take lightly uh, to keep as a pet. It's not something that everyone should have. It's something that you should really know that you're ready for because Halifax that we just took out earlier, yeah, you know, he's a super nice, chill, chill animal. Um, but but as you can see she's not and they can get big uh, they can get this this specific locality and species you're talking about you know 13 14 foot snake when they're full grown and it's a lot of work sometimes to keep these and it's not all fun and games so it has the same demeanor that it would in the wild right in the wild, snakes aren't little lovey characters. They act like this. They're wild animals. And there she is, the master himself. All right. She hasn't pooped yet. She will. Well, she just actually ate two days ago. She's still got a pretty good, good-sized chicken in her. She eats rats and she eats chicken. It is part of the diet that I have her on. She eats medium-sized chicks right now, or she eats jumbo rats. And I, and I try to keep her pretty slender. Again, they're an arboreal species. I don't want them overweight. I don't want them fat. She, they want to be able to do their own thing. And she's still going to grow probably about another four feet, which is going to be freaking crazy. Yeah, that's going to be insane <laughs> once she gets that big. I'm zoomed in on her right now just so you guys can see, like, how, again, she's super coiled just like that. She's got one two, three, four, and a half coils in her, so she's ready to go out like a spring at me, and they're so keyed in, too. I think that's cool. Like, I feel like if I were to throw a rat in her direction right now, it would be game over for the rat. Oh, yeah, she's, she's a great catch. All right, badass dude. Well, thank you for taking her out. No worries, man. All right, so right now, Brandon is taking out uh, the last snake that we had out, uh, her, I guess you call it, boyfriend. That's the one that produced all the babies that you see in the rack to my right. He's gonna take him out and hand him to me, not her. Uh, and he's actually a patternless scrub, so that should be another really cool snake for you guys to see. Alrighty guys, so this right here is the dude. Uh, that is actually his name. It's another scrub python, and as you can see, he is patternless. Which is a naturally occurring trait, or a wildly occurring trait, whatever you would wanna call it. And uh, it's in the process of being proven out right now to possibly be a recessive mutation. Not exactly sure. Hopefully, I'd say within the next couple years, they'll prove it out to be recessive or non-recessive or, you know, whatever they prove it out to be. But definitely a cool, cool snake. And out here, you can tell way more. Again, I'm not sure if the camera picks it up. But the iridescence in this snake is insane. And this is just non-natural light. So I can only imagine what this guy looks like in the sunlight. But we've been sitting outside now for probably 10, 15 minutes. And he's just been hanging out. Like, this is a night and day difference compared to his uh, female counterpart. If I were him, I would definitely not want to be her boyfriend. Alright guys, well I'm definitely glad we took the babies out, because you saw the uh, the bigger ones. They're like a olive -y, black, golden black, yellow and black type of color. I didn't realize the babies hatch out pretty much red and black. Um, on the left, he has a obviously patterned scrub python baby, and on the right is the patternless, that same big guy that you guys saw me holding outside. But look at these little dudes, they're so cute when they're little. Still definitely coiled up like little rockets, but they can't do that much damage when they're this small and they just look adorable. Like look at that little dude, look at him. He's super cute. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and end this video with, I don't wanna call it my favorite snake cause I say everything is my favorite snake, but definitely one of my favorite snakes and something that I didn't know was at the Morelia house. Um, Go ahead, down in the comments, take a guess. What do you think it is? It's something, I guess you could say, in the same realm as what we've been working with, um, but not anything that we've brought out so far. Go ahead, down in the comments, take a guess. All right, well, I hope you got your guess in. Uh, he just pulled it out, and I'm even more blown away seeing one of these guys in person. I've seen them before, but every time I see them, they're just incredible snakes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn you guys around. Hope you got your guess in. And it is a... Diamond Python. That is right. Definitely top five favorite non-venomous snakes. These guys are absolutely beautiful. Their pattern is crazy. You can see he's relatively inquisitive, but like, look at the pattern on this snake. 
There's whites, yellows, blacks, grays, all kinds of different colors going on. Definitely one of my favorite snakes. And Morelia House and Brandon actually has a breeding pair. So uh, maybe once I can keep reptiles again, we'll have a little diamond python of my own. Maybe that can be my baby girl's first snake. Start off there and you can't really go wrong. All right guys, so that's pretty much all I got at Brandon Wheeler's house or Morelia house as you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the links to his Facebook and his Instagram down in the description and in the pinned comment. Please go and check him out. Tell him that Andy Gap sent you. I would appreciate it. Brandon, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. His snakes are insane. Again. As always guys, thanks for watching. We appreciate it and please check out Morelia house.